In this tutorial, we will be covering how to set your color range bar. Now, this color range bar is going to be for one image that you've acquired or a set of images, just like we see in this example in front of us. Now, this is a set of three images that were taken as part of a group acquire. And as we can see, uh, we have different color range bars for every single one of these images. Now, that could be because the software automatically sets the most suitable color range bar for each but that does not necessarily mean that they will all have the same color range bar. Now, in the case of when we want to have the same color range bar for all of them, we would want to make some changes in order to achieve that. And one way to do this, we can double click on any of the images and we can manipulate or change the color range minimum and the color range threshold. We can start by that. Now, the color range minimum um, sets the lowest value in the color range bar. The color range minimum is always less than or equal to the color range threshold. Now, the color range threshold sets a threshold value to display in the image. The pixels with signal values below this threshold are not assigned a color, so they appear transparent or not visible in the image. Now, the color range threshold is always greater than or equal to the color range minimum. And the color range maximum, just like the name would suggest, sets the highest value in the color range bar. Now, in this example, we can start by setting the color range threshold to zero and the color range minimum as well to zero. And now we see all the data points in this image. Now, clearly the purple that we see here is very low level signal, and we would typically not want to show that. And what we can do next is move the um, circle in the color range threshold um, to a value that we like, such as this. Now, before that, we should also select all. That would select all the other images that we have in this group acquire, all the other two images, so three images total. And now we can make these changes and maybe stop at something like this. So 7.45, or let's call it 7.5 e to the 4. We press Enter, and we do the same for the color range minimum, 7.5 e to the fourth. And now we can keep the color range maximum to, you know, maybe we can call this 1.5 e to the six. And now we have, once we click the minus sign under the size of images to display, and now we have the same color range bar for all three images, 1.5 e to the six, for the color range maximum, and then for the mi uh, minimum is 7.5 e to the four. And as we can see, we have the same for all three. Thank you.